Uh, we all now know about the Second Amendment. We hear about it all the time. It, 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 it is a huge driver of, of our politics on the right. Um, what people need to know is that the Second Amendment only recently became uh, such a salient amendment. Here's the Second Amendment. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. Let me repeat that. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Well, first of all, what did that mean, the Second Amendment, uh, back in the 1780s and 90s um, when, when the Constitution and its uh, First Amendments were written? Um, uh, it meant because the, United, the, the new United States would have no standing army that any armed defense of the states or the United States would depend on militia who would be mobilized to fight the fights they needed to fight. So there's that. Another important fact about the state of play when this amendment was written was the nature of, of arms themselves, of guns. Uh, a really good shooter could fire mm, three or four rounds a minute. And that's a really good one with these uh, uh, poorly aimed uh, muskets and early rifles that they had. So that was, that was what was being regulated. It was, oh, let's have a militia and they can use these guns, which were the state of the art, but compared to many, many, many rounds per second uh, firearms that we have today, um, were, it's the same word, but virtually a different machine. So, the, so fast forward, or slow forward. For, for centuries, the Second Amendment didn't really come up. Uh, people had guns. They hunted, eh, not everybody, but that's what happened. They, 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 they used them for protection in, in rare cases, but it wasn't a big deal. Until uh, starting in the 1960s, when suddenly in a matter of months and a few years, uh, a president, uh, a presidential candidate, uh, the great leader of, of African America and freedom, Martin Luther King, uh, were killed and other other people uh, attacked by assassins, suddenly it, 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 it seemed to reasonable people that, oh, we should have some controls on, on who can get guns how easily. So uh, we enacted some very modest regulations about registration and, 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 and limiting uh, certain kinds of cheap weapons and so forth. And back then, in the late 60s and even in the early 70s, the National Rifle Association was, was reasonable, was fine. Okay, yeah, they, you know, they, they, they negotiated these laws, but uh, they were okay. Then, as so many things were going uh, haywire in the national discourse um, in the, in the seven, late 70s, uh, the, the National Rifle Association and the, the, the gun lobby more generally uh, went out of its mind, uh, to be blunt and decided to uh, uh, be absolutist, that there would be no regulation of guns, and we would fight any regulation of guns. And moreover, that was all driven by a fantasy that the federal government was about to confiscate all of our guns that every individual had. So suddenly, the Second Amendment became a thing that, that, was, that people were aware of and that was driving this passionate, fervent political uh, faction. Um, and the NRA, by the way, changed its, its motto from one about uh, safe sporting and so forth to quoting the Second Amendment. But still, for a while, for 20 years, the, the, the courts did not, weren't buying it. Um, um, uh, the, this idea that, that the Second Amendment meant that we could not regulate uh, the ownership of, of guns or the sales of guns. And, and by the way, we, we'd allowed, oh, you can't buy a machine gun. Oh, you can't have a sawed-off shotgun. That, that, those things happened over the course of the 20th century. Nobody, nobody said boo. But suddenly, at the end of the 20th century, we had this ferocious and powerful faction interpreting the Second Amendment in a new way. Interpreting the Second Amendment in a new way that the retired Chief Justice of the Supreme Court in the 90s, after he retired, Warren Burger, a Republican, uh, uh, 
put in place by a Republican president, said, this is a fraud that people like the NRA are committing. This is not what the Sec Second Amendment means. It's, 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 it's a fraud, he said. But they kept at it, and, and it became more and more respectable, this idea that, that the Second Amendment was, 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 was absolute and, and, and applied to individuals who weren't members of the National Guard or any other well-regulated militia. And finally, um, in 2008 and 2010, in, in two decisive, definitive, absolute decisions, the Supreme Court decided this new interpretation of the Second Amendment that had not existed uh, in, in respectable legal circles 20 years earlier was the, was the law, is what the Constitution meant. So that's now what our Constitution means. Um, and um, I, I think, so a, a, as a result, any, I think, really meaningful regulation of the ownership of guns at this point is a, a political fantasy. Um, uh, as a result, ironically, of, of the um, Second Amendment absolutists and, and reinterpreters and revisionists and fantasists uh, having imposed their interpretation of, of the Second Amendment on all of us.